weight of all the light flyweights, where John Lyon is seeking his third successive ABA title. Second down, first round. John Lyon from the St Helens Star Club in the brown get-up, and his opponent, Danny Porter, in the white vest, auburn-haired. And this is a really big night for young John Lyon, 21 years old, one of only two defending champions in these championships here, and seeking, as I said, his hat-trick of ABA light flyweight titles. Only one other man has ever done that, and that was Mickey Abrams, who won the event the first three years it was founded, and that's not too long ago, 1971, 72 and 73. Mickey Abrams was champion for the first three years. John Lyon then, in the dark strip, and seeking the body of Danny Porter, who's only just turned 19. And these two met uh, last year in these championships, in the England semi-finals, and uh, Lyon outpointed Porter then, and starts a very firm favourite indeed tonight. And again, Lyon, as Porter comes to him, Lyon finds him around the ribs. And this auburn here, Danny Porter, trying to get his left hook working over the top. Amazing record Lyon has got in this particular championship. Looking for his third title tonight. And in fact, this is his fourth successive final because he was runner-up in 1980 when he lost the final to Terry Barker. And Lyon doing most of the, the useful work in this opening round against Danny Porter. Porter is an England international, as of course Lyon is. Lyon was the uh, runner-up in the Commonwealth Games in Brisbane at this weight last October. He took the silver medal, losing the final to a Kenyan. And Lyon has the look of a man who's not going to be stopped in getting this hat-trick. John Lyon with the fair hair and moustache, 21 years old. Commonwealth Games silver medalist. And now, after the first three minutes, well on his way to the light flyweight title. John Lyon in the dark strip. Porter of Hitchin Youth in the home counties in the white vest. Porter's best punch is the left hook, but he's not getting much chance to use it. Earlier this season, Porter had a knockout win against Finland, but he came to grief in one round against Jerry Hawkins in the Ireland-England match in Dublin, and that, uh, that defeat, which was a bit drastic, I think might have sapped a little of his confidence. follow-up. Lyon is a glass worker, the youngest of five boxing brothers, comes from a family of eight children, he's married, and he has two children himself. He's only 21.
Thompson line. And beginning to look as though he might get this over inside the distance. He beat the man on points in the England semi-finals last year. It's just conceivable he might do it faster. And Porter's work now, getting a little slow. And very much on the retreat. Portion to Porter for the uh, ducking the head. It's a low punch from Porter, and uh, Lyon frowned at him. The referee didn't spot him. That's a right again. Lyon really is putting some punches together, and this is a standing count because uh, Porter's in trouble. Compulsory eight. Don't have to be on the floor. screwed up in concentration and this bell is coming up in a moment not a moment too soon for Porter and it's a very weary Danny Porter just turned 19 who goes back to his corner and he still has another three minutes to face against the champion. Second down. Third, last round. And John Lyon in the dark strip, champion for the last two seasons, has put together two excellent rounds. Pretty well got his hands on this trophy for the third time. Just needs to keep going steadily now and take no risks. Against Danny Porter of Hitchin Youth in the white vest. Lyon from the St. Helens Star Club representing the northwestern counties who've been the most successful uh, area in these championships they've got six finalists he was pulled down Four marks to Porter. He's come back well in this third round. He's having a go. Well, he's a long way behind. And he had a standing count over him in the second. And he's having a real go. He is quick to see the openings line. This, of course, is the ABA Championship that Charlie Magri won in 1974. Masterly performance by Lyon. Tough man to beat. There was only one man in the Commonwealth Games good enough to beat him, and that was a Kenyan. Another good right from Lyon. Piling it on. This is the man who represented England against the United States in Gloucester last November. And uh, he was unfortunate to get his forehead cut against Steve McCrory of America. Steve McCrory, the brother of Milton McCrory, with whom Colin Jones fought for the World Worldweight title just recently. It's a tremendous feat for anybody to win three successive ABA titles. You have to come a long way through these championships, through the regional qualifying contests, the zone championships, the England semi-finals, and then the national semi-finals, and then finally to Wembley itself. And Lyon has achieved it, and Lyon has certainly achieved his hat -trick.
wins it, and there really can't be any doubt about that. I think Lyon can celebrate already his third successive light flyweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the ADA Championships at light flyweight by a unanimous decision, Lyon in the red corner.